It's a school with a story tradition, a groundbreaker for the African American community during the Civil Rights Movement. Now, decades later, a different kind of battle is brewing inside the walls of McDonough 35. He was shocked and disappointed. Willie Zanders, representing the school's principal, Gerald DeBose, Last Friday, DeBose received a letter from the OPSB's newly chosen superintendent, Dr. Henderson Lewis, saying his position had been abolished. I'd never heard of that in my life. Uh, every school needs a principal. Xander, speaking on behalf of his client, said DeBose had no warning. At no point was he told that his job was in jeopardy. And in fact, they still haven't said the job is in jeopardy. They just said there's no longer a position available as principal, which which is unheard of. A New Orleans judge granted Xander's request for a temporary restraining order and a hearing later this month. As this matter heads to court, construction of McDonough 35's brand new state of the art campus here along Bayou St. John continues. It's still slated to open next month ahead of the new school year. We think this is part of a scheme to convert McDonough 35 into a charter school without the public having any real input. And yes, my client, Gerald Debos, is the, is the immediate victim. Appointed to superintendent in January, Dr. Lewis wasn't available to comment on camera, but in a statement he wrote in part, we can clarify it will maintain its status as an Orleans Parish school, not a charter school. As to questions concerning the principal's position at McDonough 35, because of pending litigation, we cannot comment. I just won't make it. For new students like Marsha Bin, whether she will have a principal or not come August isn't distracting the teen from her ultimate goal. I want to get my education, you know, I just won't make it, that's all. The two sides are set to meet in Orleans Parish Civil District Court for a July 29th hearing. Reporting on your side, Andy Cunningham, WDSU News.